Future Prospects A Critical Analysis Education for All The Reality During post-independence period, the role of the Indian state construed the ideas of a somewhat welfare state. The right to education, fundamental right, under Article 21A of the Indian Constitution covering the Right to Education Act 2009 was implemented to mandate education as a compulsory right to all of its citizens. Despite all of those spending 4.18% of GDP on education during 2011-2012, it has, to some extent, failed to achieve its outcomes. This is partly because of the loopholes in the Act, but more significantly, because of the implementation failures. The present condition of gender equity in India. According to the Global Gender Gap Report, released by the World Economic Forum, WEF, in 2011, India was ranked 113 on the Gender Gap Index, that is GGI, among 135 countries polled. Since then, India has improved its rankings on the World Economic Forum's Gender Gap Index, that is GGI, to 105 by 136 in 2013. In the alternate measures as included in the OECD's Social Institutions Gender Index, that is SIGI, where India ranked at 56th out of 86, in 2012, which was an improvement from its 2009 rank of 96th out of 102. Higher Education in India and Unemployment The social and regional inequalities in access and quality of higher education are enormous. The Gross Enrollment Ratio GER, in higher education is 24.5% for boys, 22.7% for girls, 18.5% for SCs and 13.3% for STs in 2014-15. Regarding unemployment, NSSO report states that the unemployment rate is 1.7% in rural and 3.4% in urban areas. In its previous report of 2013, unemployment rate was 1.5% in rural and 4.8% in urban areas. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.